What are these changes likely to do to the fishing business? Well, what we have at European level is a, is a blanket ban on the landing of quota species. Um, what we don't have yet and won't have uh, for some time is the detailed rules. So a lot hinges on, on how they're, they're implemented. If they're implemented in a pragmatic, sensible way, we might be able to live with them. Our fear is that they will be applied in a, in a blanket way so that we'll be uh, throwing back fish. Uh, we won't be able to throw back fish, we'll have to land fish um, that would have otherwise survived. Place is a good example, something like 60% of, of place survive. Seems to us it makes sense to put them back in the sea where they contribute to the biomass. Things have gone very well in fishing actually over the last 10 years. We've, we've put uh, the industry on a, on a sustainable footing. Our fear is that this blanket ban and all the accoutrements uh, are going to destabilize the whole, the whole picture. The accusation is that you're more concerned about a few dead fish than you are about the livelihoods and lives and well-being generally of the fishing community. What, what I'm hearing from Barry is very understandable, uh, timely uh, pressure politics because there are some very important decisions to be made. Mm. But actually, there is no blanket ban proposed. Uh, there are going to be some exemptions. There is going to be flexibility, and I, I completely support that. Uh, I, it mystifies me that somehow it's crept into the top of this story that our campaign was based on lies and distortions. Is that true? I, I, I'm not sure if that's something that really Barry intends to say here today. Oh, I think it is. Um, I, think, I think that the, um, the, the premise of the Hughes fish fight uh, was that there was a massive problem that nobody was doing anything about. If you look at the North Sea uh, roundfish fishery, what we have there is a 90% reduction in discards well, you, over the last 20 years. Until today you were saying 50% and just before the programme you had a rabbit out of the hat new statistic. I, I can 50, accept 50%. 50% 50 uh, over the last 10 years of the English fleet okay. of the North Sea round fish, so all member states were talking about a 90% reduction. You just have to look at the science. Well, so it, the, the campaign was based on a false premise. Well, I think we need to look at that statistic, whether it's 50% or less. Uh, what's actually happened in all the fisheries, and we were talking about this just before we came on air, is a massive reduction in fishing effort. We've seen quotas slashed, we've seen the fleet reduced. Talking about the North Sea, uh, in 2002, 6,000 fishing days for a fleet of 513 boats. 2012, 20, that, sorry, 60,000 down to 20,000 fishing days and much smaller catches too. So a large amount of that reduction in discards can be explained by a huge reduction in fishing effort. And selective nonetheless, fishing and of course, fishing schemes. But it's also there's a whole range of things. And indeed, we have been at the forefront of our last programme was a, a very strong story about the catch quota system uh, in Scotland, which, which the point blazes, is that the, it's blazes a problem the trail that, for that, selective fishing. It was a problem, it's a problem that was on its way to being solved, and now we have to deal with this massive uh, blanket ban that's going to raise all sorts it, of it, issues about uh, choke species. That's when you have a range of, uh, of species in your catch, and if one quota of a minor species is exhausted, under the new rules, you have to tie up. That's yeah. really problematic and for I, fleets I, and I for totally understand vessels. your concern about that and I, I, I accept that the EU needs to address that. We're getting to the small print stage of negotiations but you yourself have said Barry and you said just now if it's done well with the right kind of exemptions with some intelligent applications with some intelligent manipulations of the quota system to allow flexibility, some multi-species quotas coming in, more devolvement to the regions in making local decisions, then and a ban is a very negative word. What it is is an obligation to land fish. And this is a fundamental principle. We cannot throw away if we get tons the flexibility of good edible right, fish. If we get the exemptions right, um, if we get the quota uplift right, um, there are positives. There are positives. We could have more selective fishing. It all depends now, all hinges on how it's implemented. Do you feel any anxiety? I mean, with the greatest of respect, old chap, I mean, what are you? You're a cook, you write recipe books, you're a foodie. I'm a what journalist. Bu what a business is it of yours? That's a fair question, but actually, Jeremy, I'm a journalist. All my television shows have had a journalistic aspect to them, and I'm also a campaigner. 
And the, the, main, uh, the, the main reference point for the campaign was the simple revelation to a public that did not know it was happening, that yeah. half a million tonnes of perfectly good fish was being thrown away dead. Let, this let, is that was let, that let, every, horrible. Everybody let, could let, eat let, this let fish. Me, let me rescue you. I think there is an absolute role for celebrity chefs, and that is that component of discards, there is no market for this perfectly good fish that the public are not tuned in. Dab's a good example. Well, huge, how many dab numbers. recipes have you got? Uh, plenty, and they've been all over the fish fight Dogfish? website. Uh, dogfish curry, very, very good. Good sustainable choice. Of course that's part of what I do. But I also think it's important to realise that without the fish campaign, we would not have seen this focus on the severe reduction of discards, which has got to be an essential element of any sustainable policy it, going forward. It, it, what, what we had to do was continue the progress that we'd made. The, the really most important thing is about sustainability. The, yeah, discards okay. is one part of that picture. The, 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 the real story is that things are going in the right direction on the sustainability front, in the northeast Atlantic at least. In a word, do you agree with that? I agree that we're getting there, and it would be great to see North Sea cod stocks uh, return to sustainable levels, right. and that could okay. happen in a year or two from now. Thank you both very much.